Let's write the name for KClO3. So with KClO3, we have potassium, that's a metal, and then we have a group of nonmetals here. This is a polyatomic ion. So we have a metal, nonmetals, this is an ionic compound. Let's first write the name for K, that's potassium from the periodic table. Next, we have this ClO3, our polyatomic ion. So you've either memorized that ClO3 is the chlorate ion, or if you're allowed, you look it up on a table of polyatomic ions. So we have the chlorate ion. And that makes the name for KClO3 potassium chlorate. If you were given the name potassium chlorate, you'd need to be able to look up chlorate, know what the chlorate is, or memorize it. So you'd have your ClO3 and then potassium, that's K. Since potassium's in group one, that's one plus. The whole chlorate ion, that's always one minus. So they balance out, that's why we have KClO3. This is Dr. B with the name for KClO3, it's potassium chlorate. Thanks for watching.